Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's inscribe inside a circle, a triangle, a rectangle, or a square, a pentagon, a hexagon, whatever it may be. And notice there's some interesting features we should look at and remember. So if we place a triangle inside a circle, and if we inscribe it, which means that each of the corners touches on the edge of the circle, then if we add up the measures of the three angles, it adds up to 180 degrees. Now, of course, you don't have to inscribe it inside a circle in order to accomplish that, but we want to have the reference for that. It doesn't matter if the angles, one, two, three, are congruent or not. The sum of the three always add up to 180 degrees. So the average size of the angle is 60 degrees, so 3 times 60 gives us 180 degrees. But if it's a square, notice then if we sum up the angles of a square, knowing that, of course, each angle is 90 degrees if it's a perfect square. If it's a quadri quadrilang uh, quad ooh. <laughs> quadrilateral, couldn't think of the name, quadrilateral, meaning that the sides are not necessarily the same, but there's still four sides, the average angle will still be 90 degrees, and when we add four of them up, we get 360 degrees. Notice, when we come up with this number, that is 180 degrees more than the sum of the angles for a triangle. In the case of a pentagon, notice when we add the five angles together, we end up with 540 degrees, which is again 180 degrees more than 360. And if we go to a, hex, uh, a hexagon, then notice there is six angles. They average 120 degrees each, times six is 720 degrees. Again, that's 180 degrees more than what we had over here. So every time you add an extra corner in an, on an inscribed figure inside a circle, the sum of all the angles will add up to 180 degrees more each time you add an additional corner. Also notice that the average angle here is 60 degrees, there it's 90 degrees, for a pentagon it's 180 degrees, and for a hexagon it's 120 degrees. These are things that are good to know if you forget, don't worry about it, but there's some interesting relationships there that may come in handy when you're asked to find uh, angles and things like that in inscribed figures inside circles. So just good to know and that is how it's done.